Like sailors of the sky, the Apollo 12 astronauts awoke from a nine-hour rest period today, held now by the grip of lunar gravity. They're awaiting a critical rocket firing that will slow their speed and set them into orbit around the moon before their scheduled landing very early Wednesday morning. Earlier, Pete Conrad gave this striking view of how it feels to go through the tunnel from the command module to the moonship. Why don't I just go through and show them how to go through the tunnel? Hot. He is 81 years old. Apollo 12 and its crew are on their way to becoming a satellite of the moon tonight. The spacecraft is now under the influence of lunar gravity, less than 20,000 miles from the moon. Astronauts Conrad, Gordon, and Bean spent most of the day sleeping, getting set for their moon landing this week when they'll work during our night. A late report now from ABC science editor Jules Bergman. While America slept early today, the night people of Apollo 12, Pete Conrad, Dick Gordon, and Al Bean, were hard at work checking out Intrepid, their lunar module, and they showed it to us live. Nearly 200,000 miles out from Earth, the hatch of the tunnel linking the two spacecraft was lifted out. Then the docking probe was removed by Dick Gordon. In Earth weight, they're almost too heavy to lift. Here they just floated away. As spacecraft commander Pete Conrad himself floated up into the lunar module and found his Intrepid in perfect condition. Then Al Bean sent the checklist floating up the tunnel. To Pete Conrad, 15 feet away, weightless in space, floating upside down in the lunar module, there was no difference between right side up and upside down. The TV camera itself was handed up and Conrad then took us on a tour showing us Intrepid's instrument panel and the backpacks that'll cool Conrad and Bean on the moon and supply them their oxygen. Now. The LEM's forward window, notched with the scribe marks that'll show Conrad his landing area near the Surveyor 3 spacecraft. The moon 25,000 miles off. Swinging the camera around to the opposite Apollo window, a smaller planet 200,000 miles away. The Earth itself looking the way the moon looks to us from Earth. And Pete Conrad with this report. Uh, we've enjoyed doing this for him. All three of us are good spirits. We're feeling great. I'll uh, tell you one thing. We do miss the good people back home. Tonight, the astronauts fire up their onboard engines, slowing themselves, falling into orbit around the moon before their landing Wednesday. This is Jules Bergman, ABC News, reporting. We'll be back in a moment. ABC News, Chicago. Apollo 12 continued on its way toward the moon today, only now it is being pulled along by the moon's gravity. Tonight, on the far side of the moon and out of contact with the Earth, the astronauts will fire their engine to get into orbit around the moon. Astronauts Bean, Conrad, and Gordon broadcast television pictures again today while clearing the passage from the command ship into the lunar landing vehicle. Okay, it's 
take a few holes in just a minute. I'll get the uh, windy shades down in the lamb here. hours now before the Apollo 12 astronauts achieve man's second landing on the moon. The only problems, the reappearance of what's described as a moderate solar flare and a touch of head congestion that's been bothering Al Bean. Decongestant pills seem to be taking care of that and uh, space agency spokesmen say the solar flare is not expected to harm the astronauts. At worst, it might interfere with communications. The lunar module, Intrepid, should land on the moon shortly before 2 a.m. Eastern time. ABC News will bring you live coverage of the moon landing. Our broadcast begins at 1 a.m. Eastern time. And a live color telecast from the moon's surface will be carried from 5 a.m. until 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning when astronauts Bean and Conrad walk on the moon. The long struggle ended today for the uh, wall now, I used to, and uh, look down at a crater. I don't have my chart here, so I don't know the name of it, but it's got, 
extremely well-defined terraced walls. It's got a nice central peak in the middle. And let me see if I can get it better for you. There it is. Oh, right. We have a and good one there. It has uh, a nice crack right down at the bottom. Right, we That's see that. impressive-looking uh, crater. Hey, whenever you, get, whenever you get finished, there's a beauty over here. Whenever you get finished, there's a beauty over here. I guess Copernicus is too far up there to see. If it's Decker, can you see it? It's right, we can see it, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Let's see if Apollo 12 lunar landing will be carried by NBC News beginning at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, or technically tomorrow morning.